This is Max Williams with United Real Estate Today. I'm in Short Pump, Virginia. Today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, four and a half bath townhome. This high end townhome is located here in a very unique location. This subdivision is uh, very different uh, for Metro Richmond. Uh, it is super convenient. We are probably in one of the most walkable locations as far as a residential neighborhood uh, that I can think of. Uh, we've got multiple grocery stores, uh, dozens of retail, uh, my dentist, uh, Starbucks, uh, pizza, you name it, uh, all within walking distance. So uh, if you are the type of person that likes to get out and hop on a bike or just walk, uh, this might be right for you. I think of my northerners here uh, with this home because uh, they're used to this type of living. Uh, they're not typically out in the middle of nowhere and um, on four or five acres. So this is a great option for uh, someone that likes the lifestyle of being close to everything, not having this yard maintenance to take care of. They do a great job here for $175 uh, per month for the HOA, uh, keeping these grounds looking absolutely immaculate. Uh, that fee does include trash and we've got uh, some nice amenities here uh, in the neighborhood as well. You can see here we've got two heating and air units and uh, the way they work is that each unit helps control the heating and air on each level. So we've got thermostats on each level for a total of four. Uh, so keep this home nice and comfortable. This is a Renai tankless water heater. You've seen this before. Uh, it is gas fired, so you will never ever run out of hot water here in this beautiful home. Uh, I'm doing something a little different here today. I'm bringing you in through the garage and the reason for that is if you lived here, this is actually where you would park. You would either park in the garage or back there on the slab and then you would walk in. So I wanted to give you a, a little orientation uh, in that respect. I've never done that before, but I'd like to change it up. This is going to be our York gas furnace. This, of course, is going to provide heat and AC. Um, one of the things that's unique here is we've got weather stripping. This isn't very common. Uh, they put weather stripping here, and this is actually conditioned space. This vent here will put out cold or hot air depending on the season and so this uh, cubby hole here for the heating and air unit will actually stay at the same temperature as the inside of the house which is a pretty neat uh, concept uh, we are going to go on in here to the left is going to be our drop zone is what i call it underneath you put in some uh, dirty boots or shoes you can sit there as you do so and then maybe some hooks uh, right there on the wall in order to uh, hang your coats and sweaters. Okay, as we come in here to the left, uh, I mentioned this was four levels. So this is actually right here, the button for our elevator. And our elevator is here. Unfortunately, it still needs to be inspected. So it's not operational. I would take you in there so you could see, uh, but it is locked. This is going to be a coat closet here, nice and convenient to the garage and we've got some connections down there for our audio visuals and you can hook up your router and other internet essentials uh, right there. This home features a first floor bedroom. This would also be a great office. Uh, this is below grade. However, I'm going to show you here before we leave this room uh, why this is a special feature uh, with it being below grade. This, of course, is our closet, which gives us the legitimacy as far as being a bedroom. And we've got our full bath. This is actually going to be a three quarter here. We've got nice tile work there uh, in that bath. OK, one of the things that I noticed here, this is a really neat feature. This, of course, is a full blown regular window and we've got illumination through the window, but we are below grade. What they did was, and I'm gonna show you this when we go outside, we've got a plastic cover up there at the very top and notice directly ahead, we've got steps that are taking us up. You've got the gravel there. So the thought process is, in the unfortunate event of a fire, you could open this window and then you could climb out. So instead of being well done, you could just kind of go out and be rare. So just a great feature, great safety feature, uh, and still gives us the feeling of not being completely below grade. All right, here to the left is going to be a nice big coat closet. We've got good storage here in this home. And one of the things that we get in this price range is detail. And if you notice here on the wall, 
uh, we've got an amazing amount of wood detail here uh, all the way up the wall. Normally, this would be, of course, just regular drywall. The other thing is, look at the beautiful wood flooring we have here. This is not composite, this is not laminate, this is real wood. And it's got like a bleached, like a whitewashed um, surface to it, which is really neat. Uh, just a real interesting uh, finish to it. At the top of our steps, we of course have a powder room. This is super convenient here to the kitchen. Uh, but what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take you to the front door so you can actually see what it would be like if you came in through the front door. We've got a gorgeous kitchen here. Uh, we're gonna come back and take a little bit closer look at it here in a moment. Our formal dining room here at the front. This is a courtyard style community, which means that we've got another uh, row of homes, of course, on the other side. And walkway brings us all the way down. This walkway is actually lit. So you can see the lights all the way down. So it's gonna be nice and bright uh, here at nighttime. A special thanks to Eagle Construction for allowing us to come out and take a look at their beautiful new home. And I'll give you a shot here from the front. This is an end unit, so you don't have anybody here to this side of you. So you got a little bit of a buffer. All right, let's go on back in and take a look. These are some massive doors. A lot of light flows into this beautiful home as well. This first floor features 10 foot ceilings. You can see uh, those ceilings just seem to soar. We've got crown molding and chair rail here in this dining room. Really nice to sit here and have that view of the courtyard. Our kitchen is amazing, but before we go there, we have a pantry that is right here. We've got plenty of storage here in the pantry. And our kitchen features quartz on the countertop. We have a six burner gas range. Look at these knobs, look at the finish on there. We've got that uh, brass look, which is a really neat look. Of course, a nice tile backsplash. Uh, our microwave conveniently located right there. Since we have this big uh, range hood area, our range hood is right up there. Um, they chose not to put the microwave there and just kind of put it right here in the island. So that's a really nice feature. This is an oversized cast iron sink. A lot of space there, so you can you don't have to worry about putting all of your uh, dishes away. You can leave some dirty dishes there for a few days uh, as needed. And we've got a matching dishwasher here, which is very nice as well. Uh, probably four bar stools could fit here uh, on this island. Uh, I was talking to the project manager here a few minutes ago and he was saying that they have been having a heck of a time with the supply chain for refrigerators. Refrigerator would go right there and uh, you would of course get a refrigerator with this property. Uh, it is just a little bit behind schedule so uh, that would be in place. So the appliance would convey there. Now look up top here over top of our 42 inch cabinets you may see the little light the LED light. That is a fabulous place if you had some vintage wine you wanted to display, maybe a French wine, or a Merlot, or even maybe an Alizé. You could do that, put it up there, and just kind of show it off. That would be really neat at night, just to have all the lights off, but uh, have your bottles on display. Okay, here in the family room, gorgeous family room area. A uh, lot of light flows in, of course, through those back doors. We've got custom cabinetry on either side of our fireplace that's going to be a gas log fireplace and notice this fireplace this is actual brick this is real brick here that goes all the way up to the ceiling and at the ceiling we also have our crown molding uh, that finishes out here this beautiful family room let's take a step back here uh, out onto the deck this deck is one of two outdoor spaces so you get two outdoor spaces here uh, in this beautiful home if you ever want to come out and uh, grab some air or if you want to entertain uh, this is a great place to do it this deck features uh, the material I've talked about before this is actually not wood it's a plastic composite and the thing I like about it is it, it doesn't require any maintenance it will never crack chip uh, warp it never needs any type of treatment never needs stain uh, and it's a really 
good durable material. Uh, this of course is the alleyway that we saw when we came in. Uh, your uh, cars would access here and of course park in the back. There is some additional parking uh, on some of the side streets, but that would be uh, where you would primarily park. All right, let's go back inside because it's hot, hot, hot out here. All right. I'm going to take you now up to our next level. Our next level is going to be our main bedroom level and we'll be able to see what they uh, did up there. This of course is our elevator on this level. It would be really nice to come home and just instead of having to deal with steps, hop in the elevator, hit the button and boom, the next thing you know, you're stepping out onto uh, the hallway where your bedroom is. Uh, it's almost like having one level living. All right, at the top of our steps, we got a nice big linen closet. That is going to be our primary there. And down the hall is going to be uh, some additional secondary bedrooms. So we're gonna start here uh, in our primary. We are now on the back side of the house. Our alley is right there off of these, uh, off of that window there. Here to the left is our closet. And this is a big closet indeed. We probably have a good, it's probably about 11 feet here worth of closet space. Uh, so you've got plenty of storage here. You got that natural light that comes in through the window as well. Let's see what our primary bath has to offer. We do have recessed lights here in this primary bedroom. We've got another linen closet, double vanity. This home does not currently have mirrors in place, but I guarantee you, if you buy it, they'll get mirrors in there real quick for you. Our water closet. Nice, big, heavy. I love these doors. These doors are super substantial. They're not cheap particle board or doors that feel like they're you know four or five pounds. These are nice, heavy, solid doors. So you really can feel the quality as you move through this uh, beautiful home. Look, they even have a little cubby here. So if you sit down and let's say you're shaving, uh, you can put your products right there. Just little details like that they thought through, uh, which makes this home uh, even more special. Nice big shower head too, that's great. That's uh, gonna be a, a Moen 783, it looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love what they've done here uh, with this home. All right, here down the hallway, we are going to see our laundry. And this is where your washer and dryer would go. Your washing machine would go there on the left where we had that pan and the dryer would go on the other side. We have the cabinetry overhead uh, for some additional storage. So nice space there for your laundry. Of course, our elevator. It's going to hit all four floors and that's where it is on this floor. This is going to be a secondary bedroom. We are now on the front of the house. This room does have carpet. One of the very few that actually have carpet. Uh, I love the fact they gave us a nice big walk-in closet here with this secondary bedroom. So uh, not something that you often see, big closets for secondary bedrooms. To the right is going to be our full bath. Remember this home has Four and a half bathrooms. Once again, we've got that ceramic tile. Uh, beautiful granite there on that uh, vanity top. And of course, you're gonna get a mirror as well. All right, let's venture up here to the top level. The thing I like about this home is that even though you're in a townhome community, you still have plenty of space for entertaining. If you had people over, Everybody wouldn't be on top of each other. It would be a type of layout where you could have people in multiple areas are pretty easy. Look at this, that is a work of art. You've got that heating and air unit with all of those ducts going in different directions. Uh, someone that appreciates heating and air systems will appreciate exactly what they did here. This is very nice work. Okay, here to the right is going to be our top level. Now this is the, the space that uh, could be really used for entertaining. It's laid out beautifully, nice open, recessed lights. Once again, we have the wood floors up here and they are just gorgeous. 
and our fourth bedroom. So we've got good separation of bedroom space between these levels. So you only have one floor that actually has two bedrooms. So if you had a multi-generational uh, situation, everyone could kind of have their own space uh, pretty easily. Our connections are right there. And this bedroom again does have carpet. Our ceilings uh, feel very high here, uh, even on this top level. This bedroom, of course, has its own full bath and a gorgeous tile work here. I'm take you in here with me. It's very nicely done. Uh, now, you may notice we don't have any plumbing fixtures there, but once again, I promise you, you will get plumbing fixtures that will go right there and be absolutely beautiful. All right, let's go on to the front side of the home. Uh, this is where the entertaining and the relaxation could really take place because not only do we have a covered space to keep you out of the sun, but also we have a ceiling fan and a fireplace. So you could use this uh, pretty much all year round. If you wanted to uh, use this in the wintertime, you could pop out here, uh, pull up nice and close to the fire. Those are gonna be gas logs uh, for low maintenance. You can just hit the switch your 70 inch could go right there you could sit uh, enjoy the breeze enjoy the view and enjoy the fireplace and the game all at the same time there aren't many homes that offer all of that uh, at the same time just a great town home if you have any questions about this or any other property on the market uh, my name is max williams it'd be an honor for me to help i can be reached on facebook under richmond area foreclosures on youtube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.